The Tennessee Sheriff's Association actually just issued a rare joint statement from SOs across the state saying that with the sudden spike in threats made against schools, they're about to take more aggressive steps to ensure the safety of all students at schools. These words cause a lot of a lot of fear and panic. Coffee County Sheriff Chad Parton says it needs to stop. In the wake of the Appalachian High School shooting in Georgia, there's been a sudden spike in threats on social media, usually by teens against schools across Tennessee. Parton says now, if they're caught, it's off to jail to await a day in court. I'm not going home to mom and dad. I've got a juvenile judge. It's not playing. The plan moving forward in every county in the state is to arrest and prosecute. It wasn't always that way. You might have just called the parents into the school office and it might not even have happened, you know, made its way to juvenile court. And if it did, potentially there could have been some community service or, or something of that nature. But now with continued school shootings and even more threats, punishments will go well beyond school expulsion. It's an e-felony. They could keep them, you know, in detention. And they're doing that and they're locking them up for a few days in, in detention. And then they're placing them a lot of times on house arrest. And expect more arrests. Authorities now have more sophisticated methods of tracking those who make terroristic threats. And Nick, they don't realize that when they do this stuff, eventually we may not get it in the first five minutes. We're probably going to get it in the first five hours. And then they will pay the price. All school threats, of course, are taken very seriously and they disrupt classes and they divert law enforcement resources to investigate the cases. Parents, teachers and law enforcement all say enough is enough. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.